we see so many objects around us on the way to school we see things like buses car cycle trees animal and sometimes flower how do you think we see object think of the same place at night time if it were completely dark what will you see suppose you go inside a completely dark room are you able to see any object in the room but then you light a candle or a torch you can see the object present in the room is not it without light things cannot be seen light help us see object the torch bulb is an object that give a our out light of its soon the sun is another familiar object that gives its soon light during the day its light allow us to see object object like the sun that give out or emit light or their own are called luminous object what about object like a chair paintings or so we see the when light from a luminous object like the sun a torch or an electric light fall on these and then travel towards our eyes transparent peacocks and trans lucent object recall our growing a object as a chick transparent on translucent in chapter uh, if we cannot see throughout an object that all it's an opaque object if you are able to see clearly through an object it is allow a light to pass through it and is transparent there are some object through which we can see but not very clearly such object are known as translucent look around yourself and collect as a many object as you can an eraser plastic scale pen pencil notebook single sheet of paper tracing paper or a piece of cloth try to look at something far away through each of these object is light from a far away object able to travel to your eyes through any of the object record your observation in a table as shown in table 8.1 we see that a given object or material could be transparent translucent or okay depending on whether it allow lights to pass through it completely partially or not at all why exactly are shadows now one by one hold each of these opaque object in the sunlight slightly above the ground what do you see on the ground you know that the dark patches formed by each on the ground is due its shadow sometimes you can identify the object by looking at its shadow spread a spread a sheet of paper on the ground hold a familiar of your object at some height so that its shadow is formed on the sheet of paper on the ground ask one of your friends to draw the outline of the shadow while you are holding the object draw outline of the shadow of the other object in a familiar way now ask some other friends to identify the object from this outline of shadow how many objects are they able to identify correctly do you observe your shadow in a dark room or at night when there is no light do you observe a shadow when there is just a source of light and nothing else in a room it seems we need a source of light and obvious object to see a shadow it is there anything else required this is an activity that you will have to do in the dark in the evening go out in the an open ground with a few friends take a torch and a large sheet of cardboard with you hold a torch close to the ground and shine it upward so that it light falls on your friend and face you now have source of light that is falling on of your object if there were no trees building or any other object behind your friends would you see the shadow of your friend head this does not mean 
a shadow is obtained only on a screen that there is no shadow after all the light from the torch is not able to pass through his body to the other side now ask mother now ask uh, another friend to hold the cardboard sheet behind your friend is the shadow now seen on the cardboard sheet thus the shadow can be seen only on a screen the ground walls of the room shadow animals hidden in your hand a building or other such surface act as a screen for the shadow you are observed in everyday life shadow give us some information about shapes of object sometimes shadow can also mislead us about the shape of the object in figure 8.4 are and few shadow that we can create with our hands and make believe that they are shadow of different animal have fun place a chair in the school ground on a sunny day what do you observe from the shadow of the chair does the shadow give an accurate picture of the shape of chair if the chair is turned around a little how does the shape of the shadow changes take a thin notebook and look at its shadow then take a rectangle rectangle box and look at the shadow do the two shadows seems to have similar shape take the flower or other object of different colors and look at their shadow or red rose and red yellow roses for instance do the shadow looks different in color when the color of the object are different take a long box at look at its shadow on the ground when you move the box around you may see what the size of shadow changes when is the shadow of the box the shortest when the long side of the box is pointed towards the sun when the short side is pointing towards the sun let us see this long box to prepare a simple camera a uh, phenoma camera you might think that we need a lot of stuff to make a camera not really if we just wish to make a simple pin hole camera take two boxes of cardboard such that one can side into another with no gap in between them cut open one side of each box on the opposite face of the larger box make a small hole in the middle in the smaller box cut out from the middle square with a side of about 5 to 6 cm cover this open square in the box with a tracing paper translucent screen slide them slide a smaller box inside the largest one with the hole in such a way that the side with the tracing paper is inside you uh, your phenol camera is ready for use holding the phenol camera look through the open face of the smaller box you should use a piece of black cloth to cover your head and the phenol camera now try to look at some distance object like tree or building through the phenol camera make sure that the the object you wish to look at through your phenol camera are in bright sunshine move the smaller box forward or backward till you get a pictures on the tracing paper past it on the other end are these phenol image different from their shadows look through your phenol camera as the vehicles and people moving on the road in bright sunlight do the pictures seen in the camera show the color of the object on the other side are the image erect on the upside or down surprise surprise let us now image the sun with our phenol camera we need a slightly different setup for this we just need a large sheet of cardboard with a small phenol in the middle hold this sheet up in the sun and let its shadows fall on the clear area do you see a small circular image of the sun in the middle of the shadows of the cardboard sheet look at this phenol image of the sun when an ellipse is visible from your locations adjust your phenol and screen to get a clear image before the ellipse is to occur look at the image as the ellipse begin you will notice a part of the image of the sun gradually becoming darker as the ellipse star never ever look directly at the sun 
that could be extremely harmful for the eyes there is a interesting phenol camera in nature sometimes when we pass under tree covered with a large number of leaves we notice a small patches of sunlight under it 8.6 these circular image are in fact phenol image of the sun the gaps between the leaves act as a phenol these gaps are all kind of irregular shapes but we can see circular images of the sun try to locate image of the pahli has another thought that surely all this result that we are seeing formations of shadows and phenol image are possible only if light moves it is straight path activity 6 let us uh, use a piece of pipe or a long rubber tube light and candle and fix it on the table at one end of the room now standing at the other end of the room look at the candle through the pieces a natural phenol the camera phenol image of the sun under tree sun when i lapse a cow next that could be so much fun bujo has this thought wish you of upside down image of people on the road with your phenol camera what about the image of the sun did we notice them to be upside down or anything like that is the candle visible bent that pipe a little while you are looking at the candle is the candle visible now turn the pipe a little to your right or left can you see the candle now what you conclude from this the suggest that light travels along a straight line is not that is a why when opaque object of strict in a shadowed form mirror and reflection we all use mirror at home you look into the mirror and use your own face inside the mirror what you see in a reflections of your face in the mirror we also see the reflection of other object that are in front of the mirror sometimes we see the reflection of trees buildings and other object in the water of pond or lake activity 7 this activity should be done at uh, at night or in dark room ask one of your friend to hold a mirror of in his her hand and one corner of room stand at another corner with a torch in your hand cover the glass of torch with your finger and switch in on adjust your finger with a small gap of between them so that you can gain get a beam of light direct the beam of torch light another mirror that you friend is holding do you see a patches of light on the other side now adjust the direction of the torch so that the patches of light fall on another friend standing in the room this activity suggests that a mirror changes the direction of light that falls on it here is an activity that show light traveling along straight line and getting reflected from a mirror activity 8 fix a comb on one side of large thrombo cool seat and fix a mirror on the other side of shone figure 8.9 spread a dark colored sheet of paper between the mirror and the comb keep this in the sunlight on shine beam of light from a torch through the comb what do you observe do you get a pattern similar so that the shown in figure 8.9 this activity give us an idea of the manner in which light travel and gets reflected from a mirror luminous mirror of pure phenol camera reflection shadow translucent transparent summary opaque object do not allow light to pass through them 